Hi and welcome to part 4 of my range on the 2015 probability methods exam. Um, let's get on with it. Okay, so here it says that the table is from page 7 and it's repeated so that we don't have to keep flicking back. That's great. The same study also considered the number of subjects of the candidates who were taking in their normal academic courses. The same study also considered the number of subjects the candidates were taking in their normal academic courses. It found that of the same sample of 1,500 candidates, 682 were taking six subjects, while the rest were taking five subjects. Okay, we're going to need to make a new table. Look at this, we've even got space. So five and six subjects, and we're talking about who's passed and failed again. Oops, let's try that. So we need a row for our titles, pass, fail, total. We need five subjects, six subjects, and our total. Okay, it's going to be out of the same number of students, and it's the same students, which is quite handy. Um, we've got here the same total. 682 were taking 6. 682. While the rest were taking five subjects. Of the candidates who were taking five subjects, so it's not six, 192 failed. Five failed. 192, I think it was. 192. Okay, let's grab our calculator. So 1,500 minus 682 gives me 818. So here we're filling out our totals. If you'll notice here, we've got two numbers now that can help us finish this. So minus 192 is equal to 626. And if you look up here, we've got our totals for those who passed and those who failed. So those who failed, there were 300. Those who passed was 1,200. Now we've got two numbers in each row again. 1,200 minus 626. I get 574. And those who failed, we've got 300 in total. And 192 of them Um, I only did five subjects, which leaves the ones that were doing six subjects at 108. Let's just double check that those numbers add up. 574 plus 108, 682. Good. 626 plus 192 is 118. Good. It all adds up. What proportion of candidates in the study took six subjects and passed? So we want this column here um, and passed. Five, seven, four, passed. Five, seven, four, divided by 682. You can leave it like that if you're happy with that. If you want to go decimals, remember we've got to work down the page. That would leave us at um, zero. 0.3827 uh, if we wanted four decimal places. Next question. On the evidence of the study, would you recommend that students, that candidates take six subjects? 
support your answer with numerical cal calculations that consider the absolute and relative risks. You may also wish to comment on the sensibility of drawing any conclusions on this evidence. Okay, so we could say that um, there's a lot of things that we can talk about here. But the most obvious uh, steps at this point in time when they say relative risks is to come up with a risk of doing, let's see, they want um, six subjects, the recommendation of taking six subjects. So we've got... Um, Let's look at the risk of failing. So if they're taking six subjects, the risk of failing is 108 out of 682. So let's write that down. So we've got, um, well, there's two ways we could do it. We could look at the comparison on who passes or the comparison of who fails. Well, we can do it both ways. So if we look at, so if we go with risk of failing for this example here, and then after I finish that, I'll go over the, um, the way of comparing um, probability of, passing. Uh, so six subjects. We've got six. five, seven, four, uh, fail. I said fail, didn't I? Okay. 108, 682. Um, five subjects, 192 over 818. Sorry, forget from memory. 192. Okay. Um... We want six subjects compared to five, so we'll put the five subjects on the bottom. Risk, fail, six. Um, I'm going to put versus. Subjects on top. One o eight six eight two divided by um one nine two eight one eight. Okay, which would give us. Let's have a little look. One hundred eight. Over six eight zero point six seven four seven, that's rounded four DP.
so the risk of failing when you're doing six subjects compared to five is higher but it's very minimal um, this is one of those ones that it's um, up to you you could say that um, it's not there's no clear answer on this one because the risk is very minimal by oh, failing by taking six subjects compared to five. Um, whoops, you could also link it back to how there were how many students who sat the exam. You could look at how many candidates there were. And the fact that the survey was of 1,500 compared to 52,500. You could say it's only a small sample, so it's not enough to say. Um, and so on. Okay, now we could also, instead of looking at the risk of failing, we could change this to pass. Okay, so I'm just going to cheat because I can with a cell phone and change some of these around to pass so they'll change this number along here okay so the numbers I'm looking for if you chose to go with pass What's the probability of passing instead of failing? It won't really be risk, it'll be a comparative probability. Um, let's have a look at our numbers. So passing for six subjects, five, seven, four. And L five subjects for passing six two six six two six five seven four six two six sorry six should give us about um One point zero nine mm, nine seven. So if I wanted, mm, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Nine seven four DP. Okay, so you could say here that we've got about a one hundred percent more chance of passing if we do six subjects. So isn't that interesting when we're using um, different numbers to give us different, uh, to work towards the same goal. Um, if you're looking at the risks and you're looking at how there was very little chance that six subjects would make you um, fail, so it's not really reasonable to say that um, you shouldn't take six subjects. And then you look at this and it says that you've got a 100% more chance or about a 100% more chance to pass if you're doing six subjects than if you're doing five. Then why wouldn't you take six subjects? Um, so it really does depend on the numbers that you do. It wouldn't hurt to do both ways. And then say, well, there's no clear evidence to say that taking six subjects is more detrimental. In fact, it says the opposite. So, um, just going by these numbers, I'd say yes, take six subjects. But it is a sort, it is a small sample space as well. Um, there's a, when it comes to probability, there's a lot of things that you can talk about. And if you do bring into account the small sample space, you can talk about the reliability. We don't know 
if it's a um, thousand five hundred people from up and down the country, or if it's just from the same. For example, it could be from Christchurch. Um, there's there's a lot to think about, but if you're just basing it off numbers, then the clear one here to me would be to say take six subjects. Okay, thanks for listening. Kakite.